Good afternoon. It's Tuesday, May 24th, 2011. I'm Jill Sealand with your Erner Berry Market Report, sponsored by NAMP's English Spanish version of the Meat Buyer's Guide. Today, foodmarket.com is reporting poultry producers Sanderson Farms Incorporated reported a smaller than expected fiscal second quarter loss hurt by high feed costs and lower chicken prices. The fourth largest U.S. poultry producer reported a loss of $16.3 million for the second quarter, ending April 3rd, compared to a profit of $35.1 million for the same period a year ago. Net sales at the company fell about 2%. For more on this story and other news from the center of the plate, make sure you head to foodmarket.com. Now, let's check out the markets. In the egg market, retail demand is seasonably average. Supplies of all sizes are well balanced. Wholesale buying interest is increased and completed trades are fully supportive of our quotations. Asking prices are trending higher, possibly. Looking at poultry, the chicken market is plugging along with the undertone rated no better than about steady. Sources are hoping for an improved call heading into the Memorial Day weekend, but expect expectations are guarded. Drums and thighs appear to have the majority of the interest being shown their way. Tenders are considered unsettled, while boneless is rated about steady. Chunk and trim meats are weak and remain discounted overall. Jumbo wings are reported as short in a number of areas, and we have recorded some trades at premiums for these items early on. The balance of the complex is in fair to slightly better shape. Talking Turkey reported volumes have picked up, if only a bit, and selling levels are falling within a close range to listed quotations. Bookings of distrapped tenders, frozen drums, frozen wings, MST and thigh meat have been reported since yesterday's close. Prices are well maintained and tend to be inching slightly higher. The demand for drums from China is significant and willingness to pay various premiums is demonstrated. Whole body turkeys are rated as full steady to firm. Institutional and consumer packaged bone-in breasts are snug and trading higher on limited volumes. Moving over to red meats in the boxed beef market, uh, today's initial canvas reveals very little price modifications with quick ship offerings. End cuts are seen mainly at steady money, but there are some discounts noted. Middle meats and ground beef prices are consistent with yesterday's offerings. In the boneless market, fresh 50s are rated mostly steady with some uncertainty going into the holiday weekend. Undertones for fresh 90s are about steady. Trading activity throughout the imported beef complex has been fairly quiet to this point. Undertones range from steady to slightly higher. Most traders seem to be taking a wait-and-see approach to the market. We'll wrap things up this afternoon with a look at the pork market. As of this morning, the market is expected to see subdued activity again today, as most processors claim they are fully stocked for the holiday. Margins were improved yesterday, most likely due to a slightly lower asking price for hogs, although the combination of a lower cutout value, discounted wholesale prices, and steep feed costs keep profits thin. Hams are rated mostly steady today, with some buyers claiming additional product is available, but currently not required. Bellies are projected to hold steady. Trimmings are rated mostly steady to slightly weaker. Retail products are anticipated to trade steady to slightly weaker. Loins, butts, and spare ribs are all reportedly still available. That wraps up Erner Berry's Market Report, brought to you today by NAMP's English-Spanish version of the Meat Buyer's Guide, featuring a side-by-side Mexican-Spanish translation of the English text. Call 800-932-0617 to order your guide today.